Do you watch a lot of movies and TV series? Do you want to store all your files in one device and access them from your smartphone or TV? Then this video is for you. Here's what you need or might already have. A laptop which will be used as a media server. An internet connection with a wireless router. And a client could be your smartphone or your smart TV. If you have all those things, then you created your home media server. So without wasting any time, let's begin the tutorial. You're watching Droidical and this is WebHub. The first step is to install the media server on your laptop or computer. So head over to the Google and search for Plex.tv. Once you're on the website, click on sign up and sign up for a new account. Don't forget the login credentials because this will be used as media server login credentials. Once you're done with the creating account, head over to the Plex.tv again and click on downloads. Download the server file according to your operating system. Mine is Windows 8.1, so I'm going to download for Windows 8. Once you're done with the installation, open the Plex server. And if it does not open itself, you will be seeing Plex server running on the bottom at the taskbar. Click on the open Plex and log in with your login credentials. After logging into the Plex, you will see these options like status, settings, playlist, music, etc. Well, to add media into the Plex, you have to click on the plus icon and there you will see these options. Uh, if you are adding a series of films, make sure you have uh, put all the files under one folder so the Plex will automatically detect the file and uh, create a sequence for you and also create a good thumbnails for you. In my case I've already created a folder called Plex and uh, I've copied my two previous videos so I'm gonna be adding that. After adding the files you will see that Plex will uh, Plex has started searching data for that file and it will create thumbnails. So the Plex has finished creating thumbnails for this file and if I click on it, it will stream the file to the web browser. You will see the same interface on your phone and TV as well. So let me show you the other options. Uh, for example, the status option which will show you the all activity log uh, since the server has started. There are other options as well like sync and uh, conversion. You cannot use the sync uh, option because it's for paid users. But you can use the conversion option. Conversion options allow you to optimize your media files for your smartphone or television. Suppose if you want to optimize a film series for your uh, smartphone, then uh, you have to uh, open your playlist and select this optimize option and select uh, whether to optimize it for mobile or TV. Plex will create a copy of those files in the same media folder. Let's jump to the settings option. In the settings option, you will see this basic settings like what is the name of your server, where the local app data is stored. Uh, you won't be needing that, so I will show you the next option, which is the remote access. If this option is enabled, then you can access the media server files from outside your network. And if it's not, then you cannot access it. Another main option here is that transcoder. Uh, you can customize this option for the quality or quality over speed or speed over quality. I have selected a speed over quality so it will force the application or server to use higher speed encoding instead of higher quality. After setting up the media server, install the Plex Media application on your smartphone. In my case, my phone is Android so I am going to be installing the application from Play Store. I had already installed it so I am just going to open it and uh, sign in with your same login credentials that you had created earlier. Remember after signing in, uh, you, the application will ask you to uh, activate the application uh, but I'm not going to activate it, I'm just going to select the stay in trial mode and after logging into the server, you'll see that all the media, uh, media files are uh, synced properly and if I click on play, you'll see that the player interface is also same as we saw in Chrome. If you tap on this gear icon, you'll see these options like quality and where you can customize the quality for better streaming speed. If you have a good connection then you don't have to worry about that so um, i'll just give you a short tour of all the options that this uh, application have so if you're bored then you can skip ahead
so you can see that all the options are equally same as we saw in chrome so you can customize the internet streaming settings over here so you don't have to uh, worry about the streaming quality every time you play a video make sure all of your devices are connected within the same network otherwise the server won't work So if you have a smart television, the Plex will also work over there. Uh, in my case, it's Sony Bravia. So I'll just press uh, application button on the TV remote and click on this plus option. The Sony Entertainment Network will list all the applications which are available for my TV. So uh, I'm just going to search for Plex and open it up. Remember all the devices should be connected within the same network otherwise the Plex won't work. So here I found the application I'm just going to click on open and after opening the application uh, the Plex will ask me to sign in again. So here I don't have to worry about how, how I'm going to be logging in. Uh, the Plex will provide you a code uh, and will ask you to go to uh, put this link uh, which is plex.tv slash link. And, uh, visit this link from any of your connected device so i'm just going to use my phone okay here just sign in again and type the code that you are seeing on your tv screen right now In case your code is expired, you don't have to worry about that. You just uh, click on refresh code and it will, it will automatically ref give you another code. So here my account is linked. So after your account is linked, the Plex application on your TV screen will automatically restart itself and will show you all the content that we had added earlier on uh, our server. So if I click on play, it's just going to do the same thing that it has uh, it had done on our smartphone. You can customize the quality options here as well or you can go to the settings and customize there so you don't have to change it every time when you play a media file. So if I go back to the menu and click on settings option, it will show me the same options that we have seen on our mobile application and server as well. So customize uh, these options for as per your convenience and depending on your internet connection speed. You can also see the status of connected devices from your server. In my case, my phone is connected and TV is connected. So you can see that here. So if you followed all the steps correctly, then congratulations, you just created a home media server. What is up guys, I am Abhira and I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And there will be more videos coming soon, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell notification. Just tap on this little icon. You didn't really thought I'll come in this video, right? But I did. So let me know how it was, until next time, peace.